Another example of how one person's trash is another person's treasure. Take a look at this. Jessica Vincent of Virginia had quite a find at a Goodwill shop. She paid $3.99 for this vase. It turns out it was created by a renowned Italian glass company, but crafted by famous Italian artist Carlos, Carlo Scarpa. Seemingly cheap vase sold at auction for a whopping 140,000 Canadian dollars last week, and she was tipped off because she had posted it online. Have a listen. He knew who, exactly what it, who and what it was, and he said, that is a Carlo Scarpa Penalate, and they are extremely rare. Sean and Bobby, Sean, start us off on this one. I mean, that's a rare find, and uh, I mean, I don't know if, if you've ever found something that rare in a Goodwill. Uh, look, I think the return on investment on that vase is fantastic. Um, I, you know, I, I, I love my politics, I love my sports, and I love my reality TV. And this is my antique roadshow dream right here. Um, this is like <laughs> something right out of Storage Wars or something where, uh, you know, somebody finds something and then sells it for 20 times more. I think it's phenomenal. It's the reason, you know, I wish this happens to me. I feel like you hear one of these stories every few years where somebody bought a picture from a garage sale for a dollar mm. and it turned out to be hung in the Vatican all uh, those years ago. Um, it's <laughs> funny because this was the story that we're talking about, but there was a similar story a few days ago uh, about somebody who, to bring it back to sneakers, found a rare pair of Spike Lee exclusive sneakers in a bin wow. uh, that are selling for, I don't want to get the numbers wrong, but for a lot more than the person purchased it for. Um, so I think it, these are great stories and one of the reasons why I love thrifting and, and going for vintage finds, maybe one day I'll find a vase like that. Yeah, no kidding. Bobby, what do you think? Can we please have more of these fantastic stories during the holidays and during challenging times? Yeah, I, I love the positivity. I love the idea of you know goodwill hunting and finding this amazing thing and <laughs> having it all work out for the best. So, uh, all power to her. I mean, it's just a great, a great story. And you know, I, have I done it? I mean, I, I found I've, I've been to some of those stores, but you know, it's something I'm going to spend my time on. Probably not. But props to all the people who love treasure hunting. That's great. Yeah, and now I feel like I got to go to Goodwill more often, especially to make that kind of return on investment. Uh, 